Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my guide. Today I'm going to show you how I'm farming CG for BGUs, coins, etc. So things you can bring to this farm is light feathers, mana potions, lips and PvP trinkets. I'm not using any of these items myself, but if you are a new beginner or you haven't done this before, yada yada, that would be some nice items to bring so you can uh, get a good head start. Alright, so you just saw my uh, my gear is uh, pretty good for this, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, the farm I'm doing here is uh, with Blizzard. So everyone, even uh, green gear, fresh dinged 60 of the eagle mages can do this. And you also saw my talent, it's a basic farming mage talent. Um, so yeah, that's it. First thing first, you just mount up, get past all these uh, snakes in the water, yada yada. Then you mount up and uh, pull these while you are on the mount. You can use slow fall here if you want to and get to the other side. I don't do that because I don't see the need. I've done this many times so I don't really need to bring slow fall anymore. But if you're a beginner it's a nice thing to have. Just slow fall onto the ground on the opposite side because if you land on the building you will dismount. So what I do here is I run around in a half circle as you see so the crocs will pull the other crocs. Then I try to kind of stack them up by running the way I do here in a half circle. Then I do my little Nova. And as you can see here is a good time to use PvP trinket unless you are a no. Because you have Escape Artist which is basically an extra trinket. And then you just start the Blizzard farm like this. You can start out with a max rank or rank 1 to stack them up. That depends on how, how split they are. If you have Blade of Eternal Darkness from Maradon, Princess Farm, you can utilize that with Con of Cold and Arcane Explosion farming here, where we just you just basically run around in a circle, Con of Cold at them at all times, and spam Arcane Explosion. That will generate a ton of mana, so you can basically just max rank Arcane Explosion and Con of Cold all the time. I don't have that blade, so I'm using Blizzard Technique. The reason I'm also using technique, uh, Blizzard Technique in this guide is to show how easily it can be done uh, by everyone, even a freshly uh, dinged 60 mage, it should be uh, able to do this. However though, if you are a fresh 60, I recommend you to have at least 6k mana, so go buy some uh, of the eagle items of the auction house and uh, you should be good to go. As I mentioned before, my gear is pretty good for this. I also have a toe up, so I'm popping my toe up on the beginning, as you can see, and just uh, try to utilize uh, my blizzard and uh, do max damage so I can kill the mobs fast. This farm takes me about 12 minutes to do total, which is perfect uh, because you only want to do max 12 minutes per run, so you can do the 5 run per hour without getting locked out. If you happen to do more than just 12 minutes, it's completely alright. There's no hurry, this is just about learning. This is what the guide is all about. Learning and getting the technique done. When you have the technique done, down, you can start practicing speedrunning this, you know. Alright, so this pack up here, you see the patrol patrolling away from me right now. Sometimes you can be a bit unlucky and they will uh, come towards you when you just kill so just wait for them to start moving away then you can kinda be behind them and if when you have a good distance oh another thing stay exactly where you see I am right now so you don't pull the berserkers on the left or the crocs on the right then you just cast a blizzard rank 1 on these crocs down here make sure to get them all blizzarded you see the last one in the pack when as soon as that's hit by blizzard and it's slowed I start running uh, towards my killing position because then it gives you a lot of time before the second pack of crocs will be pulled as well. I always mark the first one with the skull so I can see where are the crocs. It makes it so much easier for me to kind of control and see where all the mobs are. As you will see in this video I get a lot of lucky clear cast procs of course, that is very lucky. But you can also try and bait this uh, clear casting if you don't have enough mana by casting rank 1. You can basically kite these mobs forever with rank 1 blizzard and just bait for just try to, to, to get this uh, clear cast for max rank if uh, you don't have the mana pool. So as you see, just as I did before on the first pack I do the exact same thing here. 
I just pop my toe up and I go nuts with max rank blizzard as soon as they're stacked. It's not that hard and I believe majority of people should be able to do this. When you've seen this guide you should definitely be able to do it. Again you can also do the arcane explosion kind of cold technique if you want. I prefer to do this as it's just so much easier and for a new beginner it's also way easier to learn and get comfortable with the mage farming techniques. I know in this video I have Onyxia buff. It doesn't really benefit me anything because as I mentioned I'm doing blizzard farming. But if I were to do the kind of cold arcane explosion technique, getting Onyxia buff installment is absolutely insane. It will give you so much more crit. Anyway, uh, make sure you don't get too close to the stairs here because there are two berserkers on each side of the stairs and they can pull if you get too close. However, the range for them is quite uh, quite small so you have to get really close to them luckily for us all right so just mana up and get uh, for the ready for the next pull the next pull is going to be two crop packs and all the tigers which is a uh, kind of a difficult pull but then again when you've seen this video and you see how i do it i will try to go over step by step by how i do the pull and it should be uh, rather easy if you have 100% mount, it's definitely easier. If you have 60% mount, it's also doable. I've done that on my second mage many, many times. So don't be scared away of me having 100% mount and you may be having a 60% mount. It's not that bad. All right, so as you see here, this patrol is uh, unfortunately in this recording moving towards the tigers, which uh, kind of wasted a lot of time because you need him to be in the position where he is now. When he gets close to the torch on his right, that's when you start the pull. Right, so you just body pull this pack right here, and then you body pull the next pack. Make sure to hug as close to the water as possible without dismounting, so you can run around like I did here without getting uh, hit by the crocs. Then you run up here, and on the uh, on the little hill here, you have hill. You have to be careful because you can fall down, and if you fall down, it's a guaranteed death. So body pull these. And then you just kind of make them stack a bit here by waiting a little. You see how I try to stack them. Run to your right around in a half circle like this. And now you stack them all perfectly. Very good job. Then you hop the wall to the left here. The patrol is coming towards you. I always recommend you to mark the patrol so you can see where he is. Jump down. You take a little fall damage. That is what it is. Jump into the water and make sure you make two jumps in the water before you blink. It's very important you make two jumps as far as I have experienced. Because if you don't make these two blinks and blink while you are in the air, you will actually blink down into the water and then you will most likely die. So that's a nice little tip for you to, uh, to get comfortable with that as well. Alright, so you see I have marked uh, a new mob in the pack so you can see where they are. It's very very nice and makes it so much easier for me. And then basically you can just uh, do a max rank or rank 1 blizzard. I would recommend you to just do a rank 1 blizzard to stack them up here into a max rank. As soon as you have the max rank uh, hit on all the targets you can start killing them with the max rank blizzard as well. Just cast one, make comfortable and then you just go into an over here. Unfortunately I need to mention that these uh, packs right here they have these small tigers and they can be a little annoying. However though, they are dying very easily and uh, if you just burst them down like I do here, they shouldn't really be a problem. Just be careful though to, make, uh, to take hits from them while you have your back turned to them so you, they will daze you. That would be catastrophic. So you just saw this weird croc has a bit weird path in here so I just cold snap and I double nova here. I really don't know why this crack path like it does but... Um, that's just a typical thing that always happens when you are recording. Anyways, it's easy to uh, salvage. You just uh, go into block, get out of block, cold, uh, cut of cold, yada yada, double, all that shit. Sorry, cold snap into frost novel, that's what I tried to say. <laughs> Alright, so you see as soon as all the small uh, tigers are dead, it's just the exact same thing. There's no more panic, nothing to be done. So you can use a mana gem here, you can also use a mana potion if you have that. You can also use your evocation as I do. And then you can just go into a killing phase. Uh, if you have the shatter combo spec as I have here, 
it's really good because when they are in Frost Nova, they will take increased damage by the kind of cold and the cane explosion as long as they are in Frost Nova. So that's kind of what I, what I did here as you can see. And this is also, uh, as I mentioned before, with the Blade of Eternal Darkness, this is also how you farm them with kind of cold and uh, arcane explosion. Now all the tigers and crocs are dead. There's only one thing left, and that is going back to the tiger place to loot uh, the pile here. The pile has a nice uh, punctured wooden doll that can sell between one to like forty gold, depending on which class. And that will always also be one herb for me to, uh, for uh, for herbalists that can give you some nice items. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.